Do you use smart things and need a clean, simple way to control and check on all of your smart things devices? Stay tuned to find out more. Hello, my dudes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. But today we are talking about action tiles, the easiest way to be able to control and monitor your smart home system. If you have had a smart thing system for at least three minutes, the first thing you will understand is to control smart things devices and to check up on your devices can be quite cumbersome and hectic. On top of that, you can only control your things from an iOS or Android device. There is no native PC, Mac, and so on support. This is where Action Tiles comes in. It solves many of the issues. Action Tiles can be ran from virtually any device with a browser, including your computer, and is designed to be and feel more like a central home controller. You can easily set this up, stick a tablet on the wall, and have full access to everything, and have it on your phone as well. There's lots you can do with this that smart things makes hard, along with cool little tricks. All jibber jabber aside, let's go ahead and get into this so I can show you how easy and simple Action Tiles makes your life. Firstly, you will want to go to actiontiles.com. You'll get a page that looks somewhat like this. Now, the first thing you will want to do here is go ahead and set up your free trial. Your free trial lasts for 14 days and gives you full access to the entire Action Tiles platform. After which, if you believe that you cannot possibly live without Action Tiles, and pay a low time, one time price of $23.99. You'll want to make sure to take advantage of your free trial first before you go on buying this. After you buy it, you will have full access forever. Now, let's go ahead and set up a free account. There's no credit card needed or anything. You just need an email and password. So we're just going to go down to create account. Enter your e email. And enter a suitable password. And re-enter it for verification. After you get all that done, you will want to go ahead and read through the Action Tiles Terms of Service. And after you read through all of this, you'll want to choose I have read the terms of service and that you accept these terms of service. Now when you click register, they will go ahead and send a verif verification to your email address. After you have finished verifying your email, you can go ahead and sign back in. Just go ahead, enter your credentials and log in. After you log in, the very first thing you will want to go ahead and do is head over to My Locations and click this little plus in the bottom right hand corner. This is just telling you that you're adding a location or authorizing things. This is so you can connect action tiles to your SmartThings hub. After the new page loads, it'll open the SmartThings login. Go ahead and log in with your SmartThings information. Now that you have successfully logged in, you'll want to go ahead, choose your hub, your home hub, and then you'll want to go through and check all the devices you want Action Tiles to be able to connect to. I've already done this, so all the devices I want are already checked, and then click Authorize. If you ever add or remove any devices to your SmartThings hub, you will have to go back in here and select on your hub, and then go through the same process again, but instead choose Authorize, and again go through the same process to be able to add your new devices to Action Tiles. 
After you add your location, there's only one more thing to do, and that's get them group. There's only one more thing to do, and that is to get them creative gears a turn in and get that thinking cap on, because now it's time to build your panels. You'll want to go ahead, head over to my panels like you saw, and then click down here to add a panel. Name your panel, which you, whatever you would like. And inside your panel, you will have to add tile sets. These are tile sets are individual sections within your panel that you can make. So as you can see here with my little example, you can see there are multiple sections for multiple devices. Go ahead and name your tile set whatever you want. If you want to hide the name for it so it doesn't appear, you can go ahead and hide it too. Now you're all set up. From here, all you have to do is go into here, and now you can add things, routines, mode, alarms, media, URL shortcuts, panel shortcuts, clocks, and a blank tile. Here is where you need to get them creative gears turning because this is where you start building. I will show you some cool little tricks and tips you can actually do with some of this. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and start building this for you guys to show you how easy it is. After you add devices that you want, you can go ahead and go in here and arrange them if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and rearrange these. So I'll go ahead and click Arrange. At any time, if you want to go ahead and view your progress, you can go ahead and go up here and click View. This will bring up a view of your current panel. As you can see, it's pretty boring. Let's go ahead and spruce this up a little bit. From each individual tiles, you can actually change the size of the panel. Now, as you can see, the changes have reflected inside action tiles. One cool feature with action tiles is if you have something like a door lock, you can actually secure this panel so that no one, so if you have this sitting somewhere on a tablet, you don't have to worry about someone unlocking your door or messing with that. To set up security on your tiles, you will want to go up to the top here, click panel settings. From there, you will want to, you will want to choose enable pin code confirm your password, and set a PIN code. After you set up a PIN code, you can go ahead, go back to your panel, and then choose whatever you would like, and choose Tile Security. Now you can make these interactive, view only, or PIN protected. I'm going to go ahead and PIN protect this since this is my main door lock. So now, when we go back into the Action Tiles interface and we choose on the door lock, it'll ask for the passcode, and we'll have to go ahead and enter that. After you enter it, it'll show your options for Unlock and Locked. I'm going to go ahead and go through and finish building the rest of this panel, show you what I have, and show you some cool features you can do. Some other cool things you can go ahead and add in here are things like routines, modes, and alarms. Here you can choose to set up a little box for modes to where when you click on it, it brings up all of your modes. 
Same thing with routines and smart home monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and add my smart home monitor in, and I also want to add my modes in. Again, I'm going to go ahead and rearrange some of this stuff so I can get it to look all nice in the way I want it. Again, since my smart home monitor is a secure device that I would like secured, I'm going to go ahead and enable the pin protection on that as well. The very next thing you can add is a nice little clock. Some other things you can add are media. So if you have a picture that you would like to display, URL shortcut, you can go ahead and add a URL shortcut if you want to. If you see, I already have one set up that's called Open Harmony. One of the cool things you can actually do with this is if you have an iOS device that you are running this on, you can actually launch apps using a URL. So we're going to go ahead and call this Snapchat. And if you follow this form, you'll be able to open Snapchat when you click on this tile on your phone. Also in here, you can add a clock. You can change different settings on this. So you can use 12 hour, 24 hour format. And just like all the other tiles, you can choose if you want them to be one by one, two by one, whatever your little heart desires. If we take a quick look, it's, go it's coming together pretty nicely. We'll just go ahead and call this HVAC. And if we go into our panel, we will go ahead and see that is reflected down here. And let me go ahead and throw this together really quick. Now we can go ahead into the panel and go ahead and see the thermostat is set up and go ahead and see all the other temperature sensors. If we wanted, we can go ahead. So now I can go ahead, set the cooling, set the cooling if I want, and change the temperature or set the heating. As you can see, the thermostat is set up here. I can go ahead and control everything just like I normally would. Turn on the fan and change all of the settings. Here I can see all my temperature sensors. See how easy it is to get this all set up and going. I'm gonna continue playing around and adding and I'll be back then. After ju with just a little bit of playing, I came up with a panel that looks something like this. It's nice and clean. I got access to many of the devices. I have many more that I could build on, but I just wanted to show you how easy and simple this is. As you can see, it didn't take too long, but it does take some thinking. You'll always be moving things around, and if you're like me, it has to be perfect, even though it will never be perfect. Before we go, I just have one more little trick to share with you. If you have an iOS device, you can go to app.actiontiles.com and sign in, and you get access to all of your panels. You can open these panels up to view them and use them just like you normally would. But if you open the panel you want, click on the share icon in the bottom, and choose add to home screen, It'll add an icon to your home screen. 
Now, when you launch it from this icon, it'll bring up a full web interface without any bars at the top or the bottom. So it gives you a nice clean look and you can go ahead and sign in. You will only have to sign in once for this operation. Well, that about wraps it up for my Action Tiles showcase. I highly recommend trying it out. Even if you're not interested in purchasing it, definitely play with it. If you have smart things, it is awesome and it makes your life so much easier. I use it all the time in place of my smart things app. And I'm sure you will find that you can't live without it. Soon, I will be getting a cheap tablet to stick on the wall to be able to have as a central home controller. You are almost only limited by your imagination with action tiles. And I want you to send me your tiles. I would love to see your guys' tiles and what you guys create. Hit me up at Twitter at DatTech11 to show them off. I would absolutely love to see them, maybe get some creative ideas for myself. And if you want, I can even show them off on my webpage, dattechweb.com. I have a nice little link down in the description that has a, that talks a little bit about action tiles. And if you would like to have your, top, your panels featured there, you can go ahead and hit me up at Twitter. And I'll be sure to put them on my website for everyone to see. Well, that's it, my dudes. Hope you've enjoyed it. Links are in the description. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and dislike it to go see me cry in the corner. And don't forget to subscribe. I have lots of great smart home content coming up, like how to control smart things from your Mac menu bar. See you guys. Have a great rest of your day.